In this video, we're doing some mahi catching, a little bit of sailing. We're gonna get some Nassau, pictures of Nassau. We're also going to a pirate museum, and then we're gonna see a little bit of what a rager looks like in the Northern Exumas, right now on Vuja de Libby. Hello, once again. Thanks for checking out Vuja Day Living. My name is Dean and along with my lovely wife Danielle, we have the goal of living on a sailboat and sailing around to some interesting places. Our hope is that by bringing you along on our adventures, we'll inspire you to accomplish some of those big goals in your life. On this channel, we'll give you some tips and techniques on checking off those items on your bucket list just a little bit faster. This video might be a little bit of a spoiler alert for you guys who are checking back in and if you're new to the channel you might check out year one and all the videos in year one and maybe hit that subscribe button so you can get updated when we bring more videos out. We haven't posted for a while because we, this spoiler alert, we put the boat up uh, for hurricane season last year. We sailed back from Eleuthera, as you may recall, from uh, Marsh, or we sailed back from Eleuthera to Marsh Harbor and we put the boat uh, up because we were afraid of storms. But I am going to finish our year one videos. Now, the reason that I wanted to do this one is because I want to keep you guys more up to date on where we are uh, in a more current way. So I wanted to get the ball rolling. So there's a spoiler alert, but check back to those videos on year one those last ones there's some great video on the west side of the abacos there's some really neat uh, places that we visited we got some neat uh, shark video I think and um, I went fishing a lot back there and it's just a beautiful place so make sure to check that out and from here going forward I'm gonna do my best Danielle and I are gonna do our best to put videos up in a more timely basis we're gonna try every week even if it's not perfect and not fully edited and we're gonna bring you along as we go from place to place in the Exumas and that's where we are right now we're in a place called Allen's K in the Exumas we just today got battered with 30 knot winds and a current that went the wrong way so it was twisting the boat right into the winds and we did this all day long so I'm a little bit seasick I almost threw up earlier Danielle made some uh, great lunch and that kind of settled my stomach down a little bit and the winds are finally settling down so actually I might grab the camera and show you around right now the anchorage there's still some crashing waves it's still a little bit wavy but it's so much better than it was about a thousand times better than it was and we have two people that were dumb enough to stay in here with us and <laughs> and I think we got the worst of it we were in the worst spot so anyway there is Allen's K that's where our anchorage is right now. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna bring you along. It might run a little bit long, so grab some popcorn, sit back, and enjoy it. We're gonna bring you from uh, Marsh Harbor to Spanish Wells and then into Nassau. Uh, you're gonna see some mahi. We caught some mahi for the first time, yeah. And uh, what else happened? Oh gosh, we went to a pirate museum. That's kind of cool. And when we get to the pirate museum part, I'm gonna take all of the raw footage of the pirate, pirate museum in Nassau. It was kind of a neat place. And I shot the whole thing. And I'm gonna put that up in a separate video. So if you like pirates and pirate history like we do, then you can check that out. What else will we do? Oh, the reason we haven't shot a lot of video is because we've been fixing the dang boat since we got on it. Um, uh, we're gonna start out the video <laughs> putting the boat back together, which we thought it was in good shape. And then she got a little bit mad at us because we left her for a couple of months with some strange boats in a strange place. And uh, we're still dealing with uh, the refrigerator issue was the biggest one. We had some engine issues. I had to get into the engine um, and, and fix, oh gosh, a pump and some belts. And I mean, things just kept happening and happening and happening. And, and uh, so it's been a little bit tough and the wind's been blowing, which we've kind of come to the realization that the wind just blows all the time in the Bahamas. And we're getting used to it. We no longer have anxiety, anchor anxiety. Um, and so in today, I mean, we were comfortable, except for the part where we almost threw up when the wind was tossing us around. We almost tossed our cookies while the wind was tossing us around. And uh, I, I guess we're getting accustomed to living in the wind and trying to find places that maybe are a little more comfortable. So maybe we're getting better at this. 
and what else happened um, oh we're gonna show a bunch of NASA you get to see some big boats there's huge boats down here NASA we've got iguanas um, I can't think of what else we saw in this video it's coming up right now so be sure if you like this video make a comment below and uh, we'll leave some links to some interesting stuff in in the uh, in the notes section below as well so make sure to check that out and if there's something in there that you have some questions about or you think we can help you out or whatever we had some people ask us where they might go in the Bahamas um, we're happy to give you our opinion we won't tell you what to do but we will tell you what we experienced and I guess that's it so I hope you enjoy this and as always we appreciate you smashing the like button and we will see you on the water Honey? <laughs> Honey? Where are you? I'm squished under the bed. Danielle? <laughs> What's going on? My fear of putting the sails back up has already been validated because I'm stuck under the bed. <laughs> what are you doing under the sail? It's so heavy. Maybe we can see you better <laughs> in the reflection of oh the door. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so you actually have to help me. You have to lift this in. I have to help you? Yes. So tell us about what happened today. Uh, so far we got back to the boat. It's in good condition. We're happy. Now we're just trying to clear out all the stuff to get organized and not sure where to start. How did you end up under the sail? Because we were carrying this beast out of... <laughs> <laughs> I really can't get out. <laughs> this is why we don't let you drive here. We haven't been shooting a lot lately because everything seems to be breaking down, but we haven't fixed everything. <laughs> so, but we decided that we just can't stay in Amicos anymore. So right now we are just about to get to back to Eleuthera and we're gonna head to Nassau because we have some stuff that needs to be fixed. And so that's Eleuthera right out there. Well, that's Spanish Wells right out there. And uh, boy, it was a tough one. In fact, I was unsure about leaving today because we hadn't had experience with five and six foot uh, waves, but it was really no big deal. Our little Bouja Day did a great job. And now uh, I guess we made it through it. Oh, and we caught two my. Dean and I are on our way from Little Harbor to Spanish Wells. <laughs> Put the lid on. I'm trying. <laughs> All right, here we go. Boy, we can't catch a mahi all last year. First time we get a mahi bite, we catch two at one time. Nice. We'll finally be able to eat. That's for you, Pop. <laughs> yeah, we caught two mahi, so tonight we're gonna eat mahi, which is funny because we were at Pete's Pub last night for our crossing, uh, whatever you want to call it, sailing dinner that we kind of started a ritual of. And um, I had mahi, because I thought, well, I'm never going to catch a mahi. And we caught two at the same time. It was chaos. We have an absolutely amazingly calm morning here, just outside of Royal Island in Spanish Wells. And that it, it's very rare that the water is this calm. And I'll show you what's going on right now. This is maybe couple times a month where you get this type of calmness and the anchor chain a couple minutes ago it's hard to see but it's down right below the boat right here oh there it is right there we're not even hanging off the anchor we are just floating around and this has literally maybe happened to us five times and that's the chain right down right down along there and this really cool thing happened. So here in Spanish Wells, they have a whole fishing fleet. And I know I'm not supposed to zoom, but the fishing fleet, I can't, they're far away. <laughs> That's why I have to zoom. The fishing fleet, what they do is they go out in these lobster boats and they tow a bunch of smaller boats. Um, 
and then they stay on the, the people that run the smaller boats stay on the big boat and so these guys are coming back in to Spanish Wells with their haul right now and I thought it was kind of cool to see that so that's what's happening sunrise just outside of Spanish Wells in the Bahamas be the case so I'm feeling a little defeated uh, we got into the channel in Spanish Wells and the mooring balls that we usually call banded on the radio for are not set up and functioning yet so and on our way in a huge freighter was behind us so we had to wait for the gas dock ended up missing it going somewhere else and at the end of the day we ended up calling a golf rental place to see if we could go up to their dock and they said yes which was really nice and then I kind of felt bad so I'm like well let's just we might as well get a cart and go to the grocery store because I'm a big believer in you know buying something from a place that you get a favor from so here's our golf cart went to my favorite grocery store in the Bahamas so far food fair at Spanish Wells everyone's super super nice here so it's nice and we're kind of reprovisioned up until we get to Nassau which I guess we have to go to Nassau now I'm just in a bad mood today. Sorry, guys. How are you feeling about going to Nassau? I'm intimidated about Nassau. I try to avoid big cities and places. It's not my kind of sailing. I'm scared of crime. Um, watch in a few days, I'll be chiming in saying I absolutely love Nassau. But for now, I'm just a little scared. Oh, the famous Buddha. <laughs> Buddha Snack Shack. Tell us what you got, Buddha. We got everything. <laughs> everything. Everything. Everything at a reasonable price. Uh, all Bahamian seafood. Happy hours from 5 to 7 every day. Every day? Uh, the restaurant is closed uh, on Sundays. And the bar, but the liquor store is open. So we also have a liquor store here. It's very good inside. That's what we're. That's what my wife is doing that's right now. That's what she's doing. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. Good, good, good. Yep. So the famous Buddhas. If you ever get out to Spanish Wells, come the famous Buddhas. Now you know what Buddha looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, we asked someone if we could we could just tie up here because it was a really crappy dinghy ride in right in the middle of Spanish Wells <laughs> is where we're tied up. So I get I think it's these people right here that have a rental place, and there's the main street I guess or the Wharf Street on Spanish Wells. I don't know what they call it. John Pinder Boulevard, I think. What they call it. And there you go. Boat's tied up on Spanish well.
quest to fix our refrigerator continues. This is two weeks in Nassau. One day for an easy fix on the engine and the rest of the time trying to get somebody to fix the refrigerator. You might remember Nazio from a couple days ago. <laughs> Tell it works. This is Nazio, yeah. and he is the guy who is going to save our refrigerator. I'm either going to be this, this one of the smartest people you know, or one of the stupidest people you know. It's either <laughs> one or the other. He came by and he did the evacuation deal. This is a little pump that runs down there, and that sucks out the air from the whole evac refrigerator thing. And Nazio disappeared after that didn't work. So. Nasio's brother, who happens to be a competing refrigeration AC boat person in town, we got a hold of him, didn't know it was Nasio's brother, and he's doing the same thing, only he says, no, you have to run the pump for 12 to 24 hours or whatever. So, all night long, this buzzing that you hear is going to be in our bedroom. This is our bedroom, by the way. And... Hopefully, we'll be done with this in Nassau. Very nice place, but there's just not so much to do unless you want to go to the casino over there, whatever. And, I mean, there's some nice anchorages, but we've seen them. And we caught some, some crawfish and ate them. So anyway, there's the back of our refrigerator again. This is now Nazio's brother Roland's equipment hanging off of it. And all night, this will go, and hopefully, when we fill up with refrigerant tomorrow, we'll have a working fridge, and off to the exhum as we go. We're getting our way to Finn, Finstra Castle? It's not a castle, it's a fort. Fort. Finstra Fort. Honey, watch out. Fort Finstall. Apparently we're going by the new buildings to get there and the Queen's Staircase. We are going to the Queen's Staircase. Staircase was built in uh, somewhere around 1901, I believe when Queen Victoria died. And the reason it was built is because she gave freedom to all the slaves in the Bahamas. And so as a tribute to her, she never came to the island. They never got to meet her, but they wanted to give a tribute to her because she gave them not only the freedom, but also land. And so they built this staircase, carved it by hand, and so apparently there's a major atrocity that happened here and that's why they built the stairs here and the waterfall. It's a beautiful waterfall. Fort Finn Castle, apex of Nassau. French Corvette. Corvette. It's got 16 guns and a crew of 200. <laughs> I 
think it's funny that pirate ships had fluorescent lights. They did bring goats. What a good idea. What do you think, Hunt? Should we get a goat? Oh. Ooh, what are they doing to this guy? The carpenter did all the surgery. Oh, is that is it is he doing surgery? I think he's hey. <laughs> right next to the chickens. Hmm. Apparently one of the punishments are for pirates who broke the articles under which they signed was being marooned. So this fella right here is marooned. And if that lady right there doesn't ship up, we may maroon her too. Her. What do you think? Was it common for pirates to bury their treasure? I'm going to say false because they probably spent all their treasure on booze and women. Dirty pirates squandered their plunder on drink, gambling, and women. How about that? I'm a pretty good pirate. <laughs> Here we have Beer Lang. No one knows what happened to Beer Lang. It seems as though many pirates just slipped away and never got caught. And Beer Lang seems to be one of them. By 1735, apparently all the pirates were gone because piracy was such a problem that they finally dealt with the fellers. And so we come to an end of an era and those are the new pirates. So in our never-ending battle to try to get to the Exumas, last night we were all ready to go and uh, we had a day tie up to get groceries and stuff at the Nassau Yacht Haven Marina. Uh, and we got off the dock late waiting for, yes, another refrigerator person. And uh, so we were going really fast with the engines and a, an alternator belt blew up last night, so I'm on my way to my third stop or fourth stop today. Obviously, we're not going to the Zumas, and we're going to try to find an alternator belt. So here is. No, I'm good. Thank you. So, on our way to the Bay Street garage, and we're going to find, try to find a, a belt that will fit this thing. And there is the harbor. That's a first-hand look at the harbor when you're on your way to get a belt. And hopefully, I can get this thing fixed and be done because the boat is just so angry with us this year. She is stuck. I just ran through the harbor on the dinghy. This is actually, that's Paradise Island. That's where Atlantis is and a lot of big other houses and all kinds of really fancy stuff. And we anchored right over here. So let's go see Danielle. to do engine work. No joke, Dean is helping more people that have gone aground in Allen's K. Everyone is getting stuck on the sandbar 
and it looks like this other monohull is coming in hot and heavy. They are probably, it looks like they're cruising right over the sandbar and gonna have the same issue. Oh. We are anchored in Allen's Cave and we are right across from the, the beach with all the iguanas. Oh, it's right in my face. <laughs> and so I have packed a little dry storage bag of things that are not well researched, but I think that iguanas might like. <laughs> Um, we know that they like fresh fruits and vegetables because the power excursion people get them grapes. So I have kept all of our salad leftovers and finally chopped them and brought some bread as well, which I'm suspect of because I don't want it to block their intestinal tracts like I heard like happens to ducks even though the reptiles are not ducks. And how are you going to feed them? I'm going to try by hand. But what if that doesn't work? What oh, I don't want their stuff to get sandy, so I brought them little bowls. <laughs> oh, and one thing I was thinking a lot of people don't bring for them is fresh water. So, I don't know what their water source is on that beach. Maybe it's just due in the morning, so I brought some fresh water. Did you bring bowls for the fresh water? I did. Because <laughs> I thought it'd be a special treat for them. Okay. So, all right, I'm excited. Here we go. They're not coming out to see you, honey. That's okay, I can prepare the picnic then and get it all <laughs> Maybe you need to call them. This is Danielle's little feeding station for the iguanas. They've never eaten so well. <laughs> 